All right, hey folks, how are we doing again? Um, I'd like to welcome you again to the Private Pilot Ground School. I'm Keno Thomas from stemwithkeno.com. And um, we are going to go into the first lesson, or lesson one. Lesson one is going to talk, we're going to discuss fuselage construction and aircraft components. Okay, so fuselage con construction and aircraft components. Uh, this is the first two topics in lesson one that I told you we were going to follow the syllabus as we go along. So I'm going to try to keep these lessons, you know, as not, I'm not tr going to try to make them super, super long. But uh, let's get into it. So fuselage construction. If we go to the manual, and we go into section seven of the manual, as I showed you before in the intro lesson. We go to section seven, which is airplane and systems descriptions. So, as far as this area of the manual, the section provides description and operation of the airplane and its systems. Some equipment described herein is optional and may not be installed in the airplane. Section nine refers to supplements for details of other optional systems and, and equipment. So that'd be in the supplement section, which we'll kind of go into and discuss. But today we're talking about the fuselage construction. So if we look at the basic airframe of the aircraft, uh, and we read in the manual, it says that the aircraft is an all-metal, four-place, high-wing, single-engine airplane, equipped with tricycle gear and designed for general utility purposes. And then it goes in to talk about the fuselage. The construction of a fuselage is a conventional form sheet metal bulkhead stringer and skin design referred to as semi monocoque So let's look at what they're talking about. Okay, so here if we look at this we can see the formers. Alright, they pretty much form the shape of the fuselage. Okay, but you can see there's one there, there's one there, there's one there, and it kind of goes all the way back. Let's find, well, let's take a look at a few slides so you can kind of see the outside. And we can zoom in so you can actually see that those formers kind of, uh, trying to get this to stay still. Okay, so the formers are in there and they're running along here and they're actually shaping the fuselage. Okay. So you have the former and then you have sheet metal and you can see the rivets there. I don't think I can zoom in any further. But that is the fuselage. The fuselage contains the cockpit, passengers. This will be the cargo area. Now this is one of the five major components of an aircraft. The fuselage. Okay, so let's see if we can bounce back and Take that out and you can come back. So we can see that these formers are actually forming the shape from front to back of the aircraft. Okay, so this is pretty much the main body of the, or the main component of the aircraft. And then if we look at the total aircraft, we've got the other five components, which are the wings, landing gear, power plant, empennage, and we'll discuss those later in a moment because I think we are going to go into aircraft components. So, coming back to the manual, we talked about this fuselage is conventional form sh sheet metal bulkhead stringer and skin design, and we call that semi monocot So there's also monocot construction, which we'll discuss later. But the major items of the stru structure are the front and rear carry-through spars to which the wings are attached a bulkhead and forgings for the main landing gear attachment at the base of the rear door post and a bulkhead with attaching plates at the base of the forward door post for the lower attachment of the wing struts. Uh, four engine mount stringers are also attached to the forward door pole post and extend forward to the firewall. All right. And it goes in deeper with the airframe and uh, you know you can google a Cessna 172 and manual and you can go into se section 7 and go into this on your own. If you're actually flying with an instructor, uh, the 
pilot operating handbook for that particular aircraft will be in the aircraft for you to reference this stuff. So what I recommend maybe is going to the airport a little bit earlier and hey, you know, because normally you're going to be doing your own pre-flight after your instructor teaches you how to do a pre-flight. And then basically you just get out there like 20 minutes or so and just get into the manual until you get your own. Um, most fixed space operators will have a copy that you could buy so you can take it home and go through the aircraft description yourself. So just to stay on track here, that would be the fuselage construction and we talked about that. Now an aircraft has five major components. Right, and you're going to see, I don't care what type of airplane you're looking at, five major aircraft components. Okay. So if we look at this, you're going to have a power plant or power plants if it's multi-engine. You're going to have landing gear, you're going to have the wings, you're going to have the fuselage, which we just talked about, and you're going to have the empennage, which consists of a vertical, that would be this guy, and the horizontal stabilizer. Okay, so no matter what airplane you're looking at, it's going to have these five major components. Like I said, if it's multi-engine, it's going to have more than one power plant. But you're still going to have the landing gear, the fuselage, the wings, vertical, and horizontal stabilizer, which is the empennage. So for an aircraft to be called an airplane, or an airplane to be called an airplane, these five major components is what makes an airplane an airplane. Okay, so um, just to recap, the fuselage, which is the main section, it's kind of where all the parts attach. And we looked at all the five major components. Wow. This particular aircraft has, wow, well, I can't even get this to blow up, but that's the B-52. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power plants on there, but you still have a fuselage, wings, landing gear, which are retracted at this point. But whether it's a light aircraft, military aircraft, or airplane, private airplane, commercial airplane, it's going to have these five major components. For my rotary wing community, um, basically you're going to have your landing gear or skids, fuselage, main rotor, uh, airframe, transmission, and tail rotor. So uh, the helicopter or rotary wing aircraft have a couple extra moving parts. So we talked about, the f to recap, we talked about the fuselage. Um, our particular aircraft is a semi-monocoque, and this is just a sim version of the Cessna 172N model. Okay, so we talked about the fuselage, we talked about how it was formed, how you have the formers in there. And there's also, I really didn't go in depth about the stringers and stuff like that, but if you look at the aircraft under, like the skin of the aircraft, here's a really nice one. This is a low wing aircraft, but you can see your formers and your stringers and your spars and things of that nature. So this is what the aircraft's airframe looks like before you rivet the skin on. Okay, so... Again, semi monocoque construction. Um, and we'll go a little bit more in depth okay, about that. But that's what I wanted to discuss during this uh, lesson. I wanted to talk about the fuselage construction. And I wanted to talk about the five major components. And now every aircraft has these five major components. So try my best to keep these down under 10 minutes because, you know, people and their attention spans, they don't really hold that long. So, again, I'm Kino with uh, stemwithkino.com. We talked about fuselage construction and aircraft components. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned. Now, the le next lesson will still be a part of lesson one because we have a lot more to cover. We have to talk about lift development, lift dress, dress and drag, we have a lot of topics to cover in order to get rid of or, or to uh, uh, cover lesson one. So if we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So you figure 
you know, these lessons as I go along, I'm trying to keep them under 10 minutes or around 10 minutes and stuff. And replay them as needed. Okay. Again, you don't really need your books right now. And um, the next simulation video will cover um, basically, um, we'll talk about the aircraft, operating characteristics, cab controls, things of that nature. All right. So we'll, we'll be bouncing back and forth in between the flight and the ground lessons and stuff like that. So you can pause right here so you can kind of, if you wanted to read ahead on your own, if you do have your books, to just kind of stay on top of what we're going to talk about so it kind of sticks to you more. And, you know, but yeah, I'm like a minute past where I want it to be. So again, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Kino with STEM with Kino.com, and we'll see you on the next lesson. Thank you.